we've learned a lot about what is actually happening inside children's hospitals around the country. Most people trust children's hospitals implicitly, they just didn't know the details. But thanks to the internet, we now do. And it turns out some of these hospitals are performing horrifying experiments on children, elective hysterectomies on minors, physical and chemical castration, things you'd think would be crimes, but that apparently aren't and that are going on in children's hospitals in the United States. And now we're learning more. No, no, you're not learning more. And uh, nothing that he stated in uh, that segment was accurate. There are no experiments being performed on children. And literally a day after Boston Children's Hospital was dealing with serious death threats and a bomb scare because of lunatic right wingers who have been convinced by other lunatic right wingers that they're doing hysterectomies on minors who identify as transgender. You have Tucker Carlson repeating the same lies, because why not? Stochastic terrorism is his brand, that's what he does. The other thing that I'm terrorized by is his decision to wear that terrible tie with that terrible shirt. What was he thinking? The dude is super wealthy, he should do better. But nonetheless, let's get back to the serious component of this. Like, what is that? Look what is that? I, Anna, I have to confess, I'm not sure I would make that mistake. No, I mean, that mistake is so egregious that no, you wouldn't even make it. And you're not a fashionista, Jenk. You just aren't. Let's be fair. Let's be honest about it. Uh, most honest show in America. All right, but back to the super important topic where they're going to get people killed. No, but but first of all, let's just acknowledge that people like Tucker Carlson, who regurgitates disgusting and false white replacement theory garbage, that's already motivated people to carry out like domestic terrorism, like the mass shooting that happened at a Buffalo grocery store by an individual who very clearly stated in his manifesto that he wanted to kill black people because he was convinced that there was a, a conspiracy to pl replace white people with black people in America. Okay, so Tucker Carlson, this ain't his first rodeo. This is what he does. And what we're talking about here, like, I just want you guys to be very clear about what we're discussing. We're discussing Tucker Carlson and right wingers like him targeting children's hospitals that are now dealing with bomb threats. And considering the past experiences we've had in recent history with insane right wing lunatics carrying out actual acts of violence that get people killed, it is very likely that something like that could happen again in the future to a children's hospital. Okay, so these right wing domestic terrorists who claim to be super pro life, who claim to love babies so much, have no problem spewing lies about these hospitals and their transgender patients. Knowing that it could get people killed. Okay, so let's watch more of his garbage segment where he also decides to defend libs of TikTok, where a lot of these insane conspiracies originate from. We brought you the saga of libs of TikTok, one of the most informative accounts on Twitter. And because it is so informative, it keeps getting banned. Libs of TikTok just proved that physicians are, in fact, castrating young people, minors, for no legitimate purpose whatsoever. So I'll tell you what uh, Libs of TikTok did. Uh, they called Boston Children's Hospital. The operators picked up the phone and uh, Chaya Rychik, who is the person behind uh, Libs of TikTok, asks if uh, they do hysterectomies on a transgender male who's 16 years old. She asks this to the operators who answer the phone, the operators, not the doctors, not the nurses, not a medical expert within the facility, the operators, like the receptionists. And the receptionist gave her inaccurate information and said that, she, yeah, uh, he would be eligible. But how would they know? Are they the doctors? No, but it, that's it. That's all right chick and all of the right wing bigots and zealots out there. That's all they needed. And they ran with it, and now they're convinced that you have literal children getting hysterectomies at children's hospitals across this country. I mean, the medical community agrees that doing those types of surgeries on minors is unacceptable. It is considered unethical. They don't do that to minors. The only people who are eligible for things like that, and yes, all like including transgender patients, are people who are 18 and older. For obvious reasons, but is there gender affirming care provided at some of these hospitals? Yes, in the form of counseling, in the form of hormone blockers. So the transgender minor 
doesn't have to go through the torture of puberty and all of that when they're dealing with a clear, you know, when they have a different identity. So when they're adults, they can make a decision about how they would like to proceed forward. But right wingers, they can't get enough of getting in between you and your doctor. You're a parent with a transgender kid, you don't get to make decisions about your own child's health, about your own child's care according to the right wing. Tucker Carlson feels entitled to tell you as a parent what kind of decisions you could make about the health care of your children. And of course, if you're a woman, what kind of decisions you get to make about your own body. These are the insane theocratic zealots who are trying to control every single personal component of our lives. And then they turn around and purport to be in favor of small government. No, they terrorize people. I mean, is there a single profession left in this country that the right wing doesn't terrorize? They've gone after teachers, they've gone after librarians, they're going after doctors, they're going after healthcare, uh, healthcare experts. I mean, they're going after uh, federal officials who deal with pandemics, they're going after children's hospitals. Is there a single profession that right wingers do not terrorize in this country? I wanna know, I wanna know. Yeah, it's actually really, really dangerous. I watched two of those Tucker Carlson segments on the Children's Hospital, and he kept saying that they're chopping up children, that they're mutilating and chopping up children. His audience doesn't know that he's a lying heir to the Swanson fortune who just wants to make more money off of them and treats them like the like fools, and they will will lie to them. Over and over and over again, they believe him. They think there are literally children being chopped up inside the hospital. That's why they're getting bomb threats. He's putting everybody's life in danger there. Yeah. And so, Infowars is doing the same thing, same exact thing. Okay, that's Alex Jones' show. So one of the hosts there said, uh, "Well, we caught him uh, chopping up the children, but." Uh, after we caught them, of course, they scrubbed their website and, and all the evidence. So none of that evidence exists anymore, but that's because we caught them. No, it doesn't exist because it never existed. No, you made it up. And then after you make it up, you say, well, now of course it doesn't exist because they are hiding it since we caught them. Well, where's the evidence? Well, didn't you get their website where they uh, explain how they chop up children before they deleted it? Didn't you get any of the evidence before they deleted it and erased it and scrubbed it? No, you didn't. Why? Because it didn't freaking exist. I want but Tucker yet, Carlson. People, I, yeah, I want Tucker Carlson to just explain to me. I want to know. I think everyone should be asking Tucker Carlson how many children at a children's hospital need to be maimed by a domestic terrorist that you incited for you to be happy. Is it 10 children? Is it 20 children? How many hospitals would it be? Are you okay with just one hospital? Dealing with the kind of terrorism that you're directing in their direction, or do you need more than one? Handful? Dozens? Tell us, Tucker, how many innocent people need to be targeted and terrorized by your viewers for you to be happy, for you to feel good about yourself, for you to somehow believe this delusion that you are a defender of children when in reality you're directing not only hatred toward them, but actual physical danger. That is what he does, and it's not just him. It's also this lunatic woman, Chaya Rachik, who's decided, no, I'm gonna go ahead and call phone operators at a hospital and take what they say to me at face value and turn it into a major scandal. By the way, statement from the hospital that was targeted by her. None of the people who were secretly recorded by this activist group deliver care to our patients. We do not have, we do not and have never performed gender affirming hysterectomies for anyone under the age of 18. Hysterectomy is almost never offered to children, experts said. And the current standards of care published by the World Professional Association for Transgender Health state that the surgery should not be performed on minors. But hey, those are pesky things called facts. And when you get to manufacture culture wars that somehow give you political power because Americans can't be bothered to read anything, this is what you're gonna do. This is what you, this is what they peddle, Jenk. What else is Tucker gonna talk about? Economic populism? No. I mean, he might pretend like he cares about what workers are dealing with in the country, but at the end of the day, when it comes to any real solutions, it's all about terrorizing powerless people in America. That is it. Yeah. Disgusting. So, 
Tucker is the worst of the worst. Why? Because the hosts on Infowars, like Alex Jones and the other guy in this instance, I, I think there's a good chance that they're actually clinically insane. Like that they're some of the dumbest, most mentally unbalanced people in the country. And they're appealing to other mentally unbalanced people. And it's terrible, but I get it. Um, Tucker, we know, doesn't believe any of this stuff. And think about it, he's already filthy rich. But to make more money, he falsely on purpose tells people that they're chopping up children in the children's hospital and that they should do something about it. And he knows he's he's not a dumb guy. That's why he's way more culpable. He knows that there's a whole bunch of lunatics that are unhinged that he's primed for violence in his audience. And when he tells them this, things like this that are totally false, it's meant to spur them on. Go kill those people. Go kill the doctors and the nurses and the kids inside the hospital. And then afterwards, he'll go, what me? <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. I just said they were chopping up little children and taking out their body parts and mutilating their genitalia. And then somebody should do something about it. What me? I didn't do anything. Oh, did they all get murdered? Ha <laughs> ha I got richer. That's Tucker Carlson. By the way, any sick son of a bitch that goes on Tucker Carlson's show and validates his points and tries to bring left wingers and trick left wingers into supporting that right wing monster like Glenn Greenwald, Jimmy Dore, and Tulsi Gabbard, all those hateful, horrible people. You all are the worst people on earth. And, and look at this. And then after all of this, now one last thing about corporate media, mainstream media. After Look at how heinous the right wing is, how unbelievably cruel they are. And then John Avalon on CNN is yelling at Biden and Democrats. I can't believe he called MAGA Republicans semi-fascist. That is so offensive. Yeah, it Joe is. Biden you should just Democrats call them fascist. <laughs> it is offensive. Just call yeah. them fascist. Call them what they are. But it, I know, semi my ass. But they're literally yelling at Democrats for being too mean to poor Republicans. It's ridiculous. It's mainstream media helps these guys by validating them as if they have a legitimate point of view. These people are monsters. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.